Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your full moon in Virgo love reading. Um, if you are a Virgo sun, moon rising, or Venus, some of these messages may or may not be for you. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading, Virgo, go ahead and book only with me in the description box at my website. You cannot book with me any other way. And I have to just tell you guys, be careful of the scammers in the comments below the videos. There is someone impersonating me asking you to book with them and asking you to meet up with them on WhatsApp. I guess they're taking money through Cash App or what have you. And a lot of you are getting scammed. So please be mindful. I will never, ever ask you to book a reading with me in the comments. I always stay in my vi my videos, my readings. You have to go to my website and the link is in the description box below. There is no other way to get a reading with me. All right, Virgo. So yeah, make sure you hit that like, share and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. If you're new, I hope you stay and welcome back to everyone that keeps coming back. I truly appreciate you and hi everybody in the chat. You guys, this is a full moon in Virgo reading okay this is this is you this is us all right the first card i have here is surrender to the divine with the full moon and you are good enough virgo virgo you are good enough if you aren't feeling that way right now this reading is going to be specifically for you in Virgo, you're being asked at this time to be really honest with yourself, to try to understand yourself better and what's leading you in your life. Um, the question to ask yourself at this time is, have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? Humility is good, but it can go too far. And drawing this card during this full moon in Virgo suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flashy, just quietly certain, confident that you are good enough. At the other, <coughs> excuse me, at the other end of the scale, you also need to honestly answer the question you have been, or the question, have you been too picky? The full moon in Virgo needs some truthful answers. Once you're given them, it should be easier to see how you got where you are. Your next step should then be more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. Hard work brings results. Find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life. Additional meanings during this time is you could be worrying too much. And when you worry too much, you attract more things to worry about. Like attracts like. If you're worrying, you're going to worry more. If you worry less, you're going to worry less. Have you been overly critical, Virgo? An apology may be in order at this time. Stop second guessing yourself. Raise your karma by doing something good for someone else. Full moon in, Vir in Virgo is a time to declutter your life, your home, your office. Carve away that which is not needed, which is not serving you any longer. Get rid of stuff. <laughs> Have a yard sale if you must. I don't know. Get Just carve away and simplify. It's time to sort what's good in your life from what's not serving you. It's also the time to clear out your energies via salt baths, meditations, and or to practice getting more grounded by walking barefoot if the weather obviously allows. No matter when this time comes it's a reminder that any time is a good time to start living a healthier life and virgo come on virgos are the most hygienic signs of the zodiac virgo is always trying to have better health virgo is all about medicine healing getting rid of things decluttering that's what virgos lo live for i know a lot of people believe that virgos are the most the cleanest people on the planet like they are super super organized it, it's not true virgo seeks chaos in order to bring or to bring order to things okay hopefully you're not out there trying to fix people but virgo uh, virgos are often found in healing modalities working in medicine um 
working in healthcare in some way because they do like to help. And when they see that there's a need for improvement, they get right in and find ways to improve. Um, you know, in a Virgo's world, if everything is completely sterile and perfect, Virgo starts to worry. What keeps worry off of Virgo's mind is when they're busy and when they're active, sorting things out and bringing order to chaos. As long, and it's just a little thing here. I mean, Virgo, you love to help people in your romantic relationships, though. I think there's just a little you can be such a good help to people in your romantic relationships or with someone in particular, but you'll be more effective when that person is seeking your help and asking your advice. If you are, uh, because Virgos will like to point things out, not to harm and not to criticize in a way to hurt someone, but because they have such clarity of vision, they can see right through the, um, they can see right through uh, the fog. They cut right to things. They can see things exactly how they are. Sometimes when Virgo's unable to, it's because they're just not trusting themselves. But in personal romantic relationships, Virgo, um, I, I like the saying, um, if you're someone who is, for example, right-handed, you write with your right hand. Um, whichever hand is more dominant, use that hand um, to love more and the less dominant hand to criticize. And hopefully you understand that. So uh, Virgo, we're gonna get into your reading and I wanna see what the love messages are for you during this time and what you need to know, what's coming towards you, what the energies are in a relationship that you might currently be in at this time. Okay, so let's get into this. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, you've got passion, Virgo. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, Virgo, I feel like some of you, you get sometimes really bogged down in your thoughts. Not all of you. Some of you might go down the rabbit hole. Um, I'm hearing, listen to music more. Listen to music more. Um, uplifting music. Music that will get you out of your head. Um, things that will get your blood pumping. Um, even exercise more. Lifting those that dopamine. Whatever you need to do. Eating healthier. Uh, Virgo, you're always trying to improve. It's time during this full moon to focus on self-improvement. Mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. You also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Some of you don't have anybody at this time. Totally get it. Don't fret over that, okay? Um, spirit is working on that for you at this time. You're being asked to just wait and focus on what you need to do. For some of you, this is not your season. That's all. It's just not your season yet. And it will come when it comes. You just have to trust the process. Okay, what else does Virgo have here? Oh, and it is safe for you to love, Virgo. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I feel like that's, you know, loving self more so than anything. And also uh, loving um, God, loving uh, higher power. You know, um, I feel like making yourself a safe person is the greatest love you can give yourself because that's a process of learning to trust yourself. If you don't already have that, that would be a great tool for you to use in trusting yourself if you struggle with that. I know a lot of you don't. A lot of you are already trusting yourselves. You know, you know, left from right, up and down. You know what you're doing in your life, and that's wonderful. But there's always room for improvement and things, Virgo, here. So I feel like at this time, <clears throat> it's all about you and grounding yourself definitely. All right, let's take a look and get more into the love messages here. What's going on here for Virgo at this time? Wow, lovely. You have abundance. Keep a positive mindset, Virgo. Manifest. Exactly what you want. Sorry, I'm trying to read it and I can't. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Okay, Virgo. You know, I, there's a saying, um, abundance is already present. 
it's our limitations that are self limitations that keep us from it. So the, the abundance is already there. Ask yourself in what way are you blocking your path towards that? Uh, abundance is already given to us. So Virgo, there's something here about you. And when it comes to love, I feel like the person that you dream or vision yourself with is on the other side of your blocks the other side of what's keeping you from having that okay we are always in our own way in life we're always our biggest obstacle no one else generally puts obstacles in front of us to keep us from succeeding unless they're a narcissist or some kind of sicko but generally people are so wrapped up in themselves that they're not thinking about anybody else all right so you've got heartbroken here um, I feel there's somebody connected to you or around you who is deeply hurt. They're sad. You might be in separation or, or there's a breakup from this person. This person feels lost. They're grieving and mourning. Okay. We'll get more into that to see who that is. Okay. Heart with a key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart getting together and perfect there's somebody here virgo that you hold the key to their heart yes you do you hold the key to your this person's heart they may be heartbroken from something else in their past um i feel like someone here has a very positive mindset about you a very positive when they think about you they think very positive things positive thoughts you bring some type of healing to a relationship or you you have in the past with someone and <clears throat> this person feels that you hold the key to their heart. And I feel like they're right now um, kind of sad about some kind of separation or that you guys are not in communication with each other. Now, for some of you, understand this could be a family member or a friend. Um, it could also be a lover or someone that felt you were very important to them. All right, let's get in and see what's going on with this person. What's going on with this person? Okay, this person is trying to have a new start in their life right now. They got the fool. Um, it looks like they are breaking free from everything. They're kind of in this position of a new beginning. Little childlike, um, bit foolish, out there taking risks. Okay. And I feel like that's a reaction to their pain. It's a reaction to their pain. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Feels like this person is trying, is like breaking away from work or the everyday, daily, mundane stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay. This person's coming out of their comfort zone, that's for sure. They're doing new things, things that they haven't done before. Okay. Hmm. Going after their wishes. This feels like a separation that um, maybe was mutual between two people, where two people just decided um, that something was going to end here. Um, or for others, there was an ending and you both are going your separate ways. And I feel like you're Virgo kind of like trying to get yourself in a better place. And I feel like this person is too. But at the same time, I, I feel like this person is doing something they normally wouldn't do, okay? Um, being very indulgent. I feel like it's weird because I was having this conversation earlier. I feel like this person is reacting and doing things that they wouldn't normally do out of rejection or hurt or pain or some kind of split up of some sort. They might not even be working. They may have quit their job. Um it's not necessarily a rebellious energy, but it does feel like this person is just kind of like, whatever. They don't care. They're being very careless. Um, okay. Hmm. All right. King of Cups is here. So it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Does not have to be. 
but it feels like this person is um, doing some stuff in secret. Okay. Um, not letting anybody know. This person's in a place where no one knows where they are or they will be going forward. Okay. Um, there's definitely traveling here with this person. All right. Let me see. Um, maybe some kind of vacation from work. Well, wow, okay. Virgo. Um, this person is trying to have a new love start. Okay. And they're very um, assertive about this. Going very quickly. Oh, it's towards you, Virgo. Oh, they're coming towards you. Uh, okay, Virgo. Um, I don't feel like this. I don't feel like they wanted something to end here. Even if they were the ones to end it, it feels to me. And if you're getting yourself in a position where you're really like surrendering and um, realizing your worth and reminding yourself that you are good enough and that's beginning to give off some kind of vibe or energy, I find this person somehow um, they already know this about you. Um, you might be psychic with the high priestess. Definitely. This is a very psychic energy. You know, Virgo, it feels to me like this person um, is going to try to bring peace or have some kind of communication with the Knight of Swords or travel to where you are. Um, they kind of think that you're either hiding or you're in hermit mode. And you might be because you are, you know, really surrendering. And like I was telling you about the Virgo, the full moon in Virgo, you're, you're really making changes in your life. I don't know if it's showing in some way. You may have cut somebody off here um, as well. Okay, yeah, there's definitely an offer coming in from this, from whoever they are. It looks like a, a water sign and crazy, but yesterday was also a water sign, that reading. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. The, I mean, this just keeps giving me the same over and over. This person's, they're going to be coming in fast, swift, with a lot of love messages in this month. Okay, as soon as you channel the energies of the full moon in Virgo and get yourself in this position where you are really attuned to what you need to do and um, somehow I feel like getting your confidence to remind yourself that you are worth you are worth it. You are good enough for someone or for anyone. I feel like you're really rising. And when you rise, whatever's attached to you kind of just hangs on and follows you. <laughs> Virgo, there's somebody here definitely very attached to you. And I feel like, you know, if they're not already trying to connect with you, I feel like they're going to be connecting with you in March, trying to connect with you in some way, shape, or form. Okay. But Virgo, I, you know, I really hope that for you, you've, you're really focusing on self at this time to really increase your abundance and remove those blocks to get where you need to be for yourself. And it just, even if you're, even if you're not doing that, it's time to start that. Okay. So you've got new love from an unknown person. So some of you are going to be getting some communication from someone um, like, um, I'm hearing like unknown numbers, unknown texts. It's a little secretive. Okay. And like I said, this person is kind of coming in or going after, you know, being very assertive, but being very secretive about it. Okay. What else? Okay. For some of you, it's a brunette female or you are a brunette female. Okay. Let me see. Wow. Oh, your soulmate's a beauty queen. <laughs> also, um, I just heard someone, somebody sees you shining um, either on stage or that you're adored and they think you are very um, attractive and they also uh, think that you are both soulmates for each other. Okay. Um, you don't have to be on stage, but... 
you're popular in some way or at least that's how they're viewing you being very popular and adored hmm Wow. Okay. You've got union. So Virgo, this, yeah, this person is coming in and it's a water sign. Okay. Like I said, um, they could have water in their chart, um, but very, be very dominant, heavy water. Okay. Um, if it's not, it is an energy of someone who's very supportive, tolerant, empathetic. They're honest. They're very nurturing, um, healing again, supportive. They might, um, be someone who, um, teaches or they like to help other people in some way okay let me see what the messages of love are here for you virgo okay play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other and vulnerability you can be completely open with this person virgo um yeah i'm now they're just giving me the joker from batman why so serious don't take things so seriously get into stuff that makes you happy things that make you like belly laugh things that bring you good feelings and good vibes because i know virgo at times you might kind of um get a little down or you just get into the rabbit hole because you're overthinking and digging yourself deeper and deeper into the dark hole um music you know will be your way out and you've got awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Wow, Virgo. I love this reading. I feel like it's very positive, especially for a full moon reading for Virgo. I think it's really just a matter, Virgo, um, for some of you. <clears throat> don't swing the pendulum too far to either direction. Keep yourself centered and balanced. You can have two conflicting thoughts about a person and it's okay you can feel or think that someone is um has kind of like some bad behavior um you could think someone has bad behavior but is deep down a really good person there, there's an energy here of balance okay and that is for your release um and having perspective okay and it, and it helps to release so that you can focus on what you need to do for yourself you know if if you were connected with someone who treated you horribly you can look at that person and say you know that person did not treat me well at all but they're struggling with stuff and I'm just going to pray for them and, and leave them to spirit and let it go. Okay. So you don't have to run with a particular narrative on one side, keep things in perspective and keep things in balance and do that with yourself. Also, you know, you could say, well, you know, I probably shouldn't have said those things that I said to a particular person or behaved a particular way, but I have my struggles and I've got life lessons for myself to learn so i'm going to forgive myself keep things in perspective and in balance and not run too far in one or the other direction basically i feel like this person whoever they are actually i'm going to ask what their feelings are for you um let's see um for some of you could be doing like could um, be connecting with another virgo as well and I also want to say, could be connecting with Aquarius, Pisces. Yeah, okay. So, this person loves you unconditionally. You cannot do any wrong. <laughs> this, these are deep feelings. These are not feelings that weren't expressed, or uh, feelings that were expressed by this person. This, these are these hidden. That's why it's called the hidden truth. These are things this person feels deep down inside. Okay. In other words, I love you unconditionally means this person accepts you fully for who you are. They still love you anyway, Virgo, even though <laughs> you can be uh, an, either a nail biter or you're, you're biting back. Okay. Whatever it is, they see you in your imperfections and they think that those are the most beautiful things about you. Okay. Let me see. How else does this person feel about Virgo? They hid who they really were from you, Virgo. Okay. And one more. Yeah, this person hid themselves from you. They've got their own struggles, Virgo. It's not your problem. You just love and accept and keep it moving. 
Uh, yeah, okay. So that's why this person either keeps reaching out, or still reaches out, or will be reaching out to you. They're intoxicated by you. <laughs> they are. They're, they're either swarming around or they're kind of, they're some way, some way, shape, or form, this person is still encircling you in some way. Um, now listen, I'm going to give the caveat. If you're dealing with a Ted Bundy tape, type i'm not telling you to forgive that person and <laughs> just accept them for who they are i'm telling you that this isn't your reading and you need to go and um, take care of business there in the way you need to do I, I don't pick this energy up i don't pick this very deep negative harsh horrible energy from whoever this person is that you're connecting with um, i feel like this person has their own struggles um and I feel like you have yours. And it's really not about, at the end of the day, what another person is doing. It's about what you're doing, Virgo. What you need to do for yourself. And what you need to do for yourself is to assess, remind yourself that you are good enough, and release. Okay? And allow love to come in the way it's meant to. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. That was your Virgo full moon reading. I hope it gave you some insight. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, only go into the description box below this video to book your reading with me. That's where my website link is. Again, there is no other way that you can book. If you guys get scammed out of money and then you reach out to me and say, how come you never got your reading? Like I'm going to, I already know as soon as I get those messages, because I don't ghost people. It's not in my nature. If I can't give you your reading, I'm just going to let you know and we'll reschedule. But if, if, if you don't, you'll always get a confirmation from me when the reading after it's booked with me, it's automatic. Okay, if you don't get a confirmation from me, most likely, you've been scammed. The one of the ways you can check if you're in the comments, and somebody posts that says House of Virgo under the comments or House of or whatever it is, asking you for to get a reading with them, um, click on their profile and go into their about section and see when that profile was created on YouTube. You'll see it's not me. It's not me because generally those profiles are created almost like in that same day or, uh, you know, a, a week later. I've been here for a while. Okay, you guys. So that's one way. Or you can send me an email. Just, you know what, Virgo? One thing. Trust. Always, always trust, but verify first. Okay? Always trust, but verify. That way, you guys don't get scammed out of money because if you do, I can't help you. I don't know who they are and I don't have, have any way and I can't refund you because I don't have your money. All right. So please keep that in mind. It's on an uptick right now. And believe it or not, a lot of you have reached out to me like, where's my reading? I'm like, I don't know, but somebody took your money. So there's that. All right, you guys. So I will be back here tomorrow to do your We'll try to do a little bit of a longer reading tomorrow, okay? I'll get into the charms and all the stuff that I do. So, Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic full moon, Virgo full moon, and I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. All right, take care.